It takes a monster to stop a monster. But what does that mean, Jekyll? What does that mean? I'm Sasha Pearl Raver, and this is Screen Junkies News. The final trailer for Universal's The Mummy reboot just dropped. In addition to giving us a look at the latest round of stunt self-punishment that Tom Cruise inflicts upon himself during filming, we also got more glimpses of Russell Crowe's Good Doctor and a few lighthearted moments that we have not seen in previous trailers. Did the jokes land squarely as Cruise did leaping off of a building? And what exactly is Russell Crowe's deal? Well, you're ready to talk about it. Is Emma Fife? Emma. Yeah. We just watched it. We did. Uh, let's give it a review right now. Okay. Like an emoji review. Right. Make an emoji face. Mm. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. Um, the first thing that we should talk about is they really tried to go lighter with this trailer. There's yeah. lots of jokes. That's there is, true. like the joke of Tom Cruise being like, you're kicking me, but that's my face. Right. And she's supposed to be kicking the mummy. And mm -hmm. then the girl is like, kick her. Neck, right? Mm, There's that but moment. Maybe, yeah. Um, I, I mean, it's it it okay because everything we've seen up to this point with the mummy looks so gloom and doom. Mm -hmm. To me, the lighter moments, which should have felt like oh, refreshing, were like, does this belong in this movie? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> sure. You know, it also uh, felt a little bit like they were just inserting that stuff because they are probably hearing the rumblings. Yes. And they were like, oh, Suicide Squad, it put a joke. Yeah. Put a joke. Yeah. And I don't know that that's the smartest way to go. Yeah, I, I agree with you because the thing is, is it's a, it is a difficult line to walk of like, obviously, this this is a dark story. We know that Tom Cruise's character, who it seems to be named Nick, uh, you know, we've seen him die in that airplane in every single trailer. Right. And now, and and that he's clearly been somehow sort of like possessed, cursed by this mummy. And that in of itself is a very dark story to begin with. But then he comes out with like, no, it's like a, this is like a fun, this is like a fun mummy. And I don't know that it necessarily So that works. moment that we just, there's two things we need to talk about what we just showed. One, very light spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. Minor little spoiler alert if you haven't been reading certain articles. Um, they are setting up a universe. They are setting up a monster universe at Universal. Yes. The other thing is, is I feel like I have watched four different movies in that trailer. It's got a little bit of World War Z, yep. which is a movie Absolutely. that I actually really like. Absolutely. I can uh, see that. It's got a little of X-Men Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. It's got some little bits of uh, Rogue Nation. Sure, sure. It's a little bit mm -hmm. like Mission impossible -y. Yep. And then it's kind of The Mummy. But I feel like The Mummy is the last thing on that list. Yeah, and I feel like if you're gonna try to dance that line of like this movie isn't taking itself too seriously it needs to be more on the mission impossible side yeah. of things and i think we're getting a lot of the sort of world war z side yeah. of things there's a lot of like them being chased by yeah. zombie mummy things yeah exactly uh, another thing that we do know is that russell crowe is playing uh dr jekyll and mr hyde and we know from behind the scenes footage that mr hyde will be making an appearance so there are so many shared universes right now. Yes. And I think actually people were very excited for this one and maybe still will be when the movie comes out. Oh yeah. What are your thoughts, I, I definitely don't hate the idea of Universal creating a shared universe out of its monster franchises because that is what put Universal on the map. Yep. You know, in order to survive the Great Depression, uh, Universal made these low budget B-movie monster films because they were cheap to make and they ended up being the thing that like, made Universal notorious as a studio. And I think that's a good thing. And so like going back and re-exploring those franchises, I'm all for, and, and again, it's like taking an established thing and making it your studio's shared universe. Yeah. But I think that they need to like lock into what do we want to do with this? Yeah. Besides big money. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so I was a huge fan of Penny Dreadful. Okay. And every time they would introduce a new character and suddenly that character would be revealed to be Frankenstein yes. or Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. There was like this, this little electric current where you're yeah. like, oh man, this is going to, like when they introduced Dracula, you were like, oh, this is so cool. Totally. And that's what I want for this. Total, absolutely. And I'm just wondering because this does skew in like a more yucky, yucky kind of yeah. trailer I, I thing. I, I think I it's know. one of those things where like they have to 
kind of establish the mythology of it. Yes. And to me in this film, it looks so much like they're just focusing on the action of dealing with this mummy right now. And I want a little more of the history. You know, I, I maybe this is controversial. I love the first Stephen Sommers mummy film, The Mummy with Brendan Fraser. Um, what do you mean controversial? Amazing. I keep talking about how great it is. Right. I also like The Scorpion King. Oh, like, The Scorpion King is great. Come on. Yeah. Those so, are fun movies. And, they, and, and that's the thing is that movie managed is to still be scary mm -hmm. and still be the mummy while also being this really fun like Indiana Jones adventure and and again you get so much of the backstory of like how the mummy came to be and I think if they put that kind of attention to detail into this myth mythology they're trying to create with all of the various monsters we could end up with something really fun I just don't know that I'm seeing it in this yeah. film. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet. We still have some time before it gets right. released. I think the thing that bothers me is that you've got Tom Cruise in this epic looking plane crash, which looks really cool. Right. But why is he the only person who survives? Is it because yeah. the mummy who I think it's very cool that she's a female mummy. Totally agree. But is it like she's got the hots for Tom Cruise and that's why yeah. he's the only one who survives? Like what happens to other people? Why is he the one who was cursed? Yeah. Besides the fact that he's Tom Cruise. Right. So there's <laughs> that kind of stuff that I get start thinking about. And like the Brendan Fraser one was super fun. And in this, it's like, how many times are you going to outrun evil yeah evil runs really fast you guys yeah I, I just don't know yeah i don't know i am not i am not 100 percent sold but do you think if this movie do you think this movie will be very successful and if it isn't do you think it will affect universal's plans i'm i'm on the fence about whether or not it's going to be extremely successful because at this point i just haven't seen anything that makes me go oh man i gotta see that movie so i i think that it may have kind of middle of the road box office results and but you know uh, I think that Fast and the Furious was a phenomenon they didn't know was gonna necessarily happen and they kind of kept making those films and eventually they became what they are today so I don't know that it's gonna necessarily derail Universal's plan to try and create their own like cinematic universe absolutely well we want to know did that trailer get you guys excited what are your thoughts and do you think it'll do huge success at the box office let us know in the comments below you can tweet us at SJ news Make sure to like and subscribe, and of course, you can always click here for more Screen Junkies news. See you soon.